Well, with the Yankees rolling with the three-man bench right now, there are plenty of guys that are going to need to play in both games, but one of those guys that will not start both is Glaber Torres. He is not in the lineup for game one, and earlier Aaron Boone was asked whether or not Torres is okay. Glaber's fine. Um, actually was considering playing him in both um, and then kind of decided against the last night just, just with, you know, just some of the shoulder stuff. feel like he, he could benefit from not the wear and tear of both games um but he's fine uh he actually you know was texting me last night wanting to play both games but um i felt like he was the guy that that i felt like i wanted to only use in one is the uh Klaver thing something that might linger for a considerable amount of time with the left shoulder i hope not i don't think it's anything major um other than just being a little banged up and so you know, and and now obviously with our infield situation with Didi coming back, um, you know, hopefully there'll be more opportunities to where you know once a week I can get him a day that that hopefully benefits him. But I, I I'm not I'm not overly concerned about it. Um, frankly, it's just something that you know we we rode him pretty hard there through a couple of those stretches. There are some other lineup notes. Gary Sanchez is behind the plate for game one. Luke Voigt will DH. Kendry's Morales is in there at first base. Jack, as you mentioned, Masahiro Tanaka will get the ball in game one. It's the first time he will be on the mound since his wife, May, gave birth to a baby daughter on Friday. He was originally supposed to start in the series finale against the Indians, but the Yankees pushed him back with the rain out yesterday. He is pitching on extra rest. I asked Aaron Boone earlier whether or not he thinks that extra extra rest will help or hurt Tanaka hopefully benefits um, you know I'm not I'm not worried about any rust anytime we can grab Massa or, or frankly any of our pitchers you know an extra couple days uh, we try and take advantage of that during the season um, so you know hopefully uh, this is something that not, not only benefits Massa today but but even moving forward you know the fewer times we can get them on that fifth day hopefully just means uh sharper over the long haul and when you look at Masahiro Tanaka's last six starts, the first four were very good. Pitching to a 1-4-2 ERA, it looked as though he had really found something on the mound. But he had struggled his last two times out, pitching to a 6 ERA. And oftentimes, it was one pitch, the splitter, that seemed to go away for Tanaka. That's been a pitch that has been inconsistent for him all season long. You hope that he was able, in between starts, to figure something out with that. Jack, as you mentioned, they can certainly use some length from Tanaka in-game one chance Adams was in the clubhouse earlier today it's expected that he'll be used as the 26th man also noteworthy Dellen Batances was originally expected to get an MRI yesterday but instead the Yankees had him see team physician Christopher Ahmad first he's having that MRI this afternoon so we should know a little bit more either by game two or after game two as far as what's going on with Batances Jonathan Loizaga was in the clubhouse and he was actually out in the outfield throwing at 60 feet so he is making a little bit of progress and John Carlos Stanton is expected to play for the Tampa Tarpons beginning his rehab assignment tonight Aaron Boone saying he will likely play tonight and tomorrow then have a travel day and then join the Rail Riders so it looks like he is not too far away as long as there are no setbacks